Good morning. To my left is Ronald McDonald, and to my right is a box of Cheerios. Today is day 293, episode 11, season 4 of the coronavirus pandemic. The next season will air on January 2nd, 2021, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Why do I say this? Eastern Time is when you look at a clock or sundial and you happen to be standing on the Eastern Coast. Here are the numbers for today in New York. 1,997. This is the year my daughter was born. A very good year. I am sad to say the number 52. This is the temperature today in New York. It is getting pretty chilly out. Wear a sweatshirt. 91. This is my favorite number. 417. This is how many births we had in New York State today. And lastly, 103. The number of COVID-related deaths. Now, no deaths are good deaths, but they are lower than the spring numbers. So I guess you can say that's a good thing. But ultimately, it is bad, of course, because all deaths are bad and unacceptable. But we might say these deaths are good deaths. By the way, this press conference is brought to you by the letter V and the number 103. Here is a pie chart illustrating those numbers. Here is a blueberry pie. And this is the number pie. By the way, New York does more testing than any other state. It does a lot of testing. This means more data. More data means better decisions. If that no good miserable orange prick bastard in the White House would have given us more funding for tests sooner, we would have saved thousands of lives. But I digress. Now on to indoor dining. We know that indoor dining is very fun, especially when you live in New York City. The only thing to do when you're not working 12 hours a day and going home to your shoebox with one window is to black out with your buddies. I understand this. But what do I mean by this? Blacking out may refer to getting hammered, getting sloshed, and even getting wasted. Unfortunately, we have to ban indoor dining as transmission is going up. Here is an arrow pointing upwards to illustrate this. New Yorkers may still dine outside, however. We are imposing some new restrictions there. Outdoor dining capacity is reduced to 1% and can only occur when temperatures are below 32 degrees, so the virus will become frozen. Speaking of Frozen, New York still has no new updates on the release of Frozen 3. New York stands with Elsa. Also speaking of Frozen, New York is getting shipments of the vaccine, which must be stored at very low temperatures. We are working on a very simple 57-step distribution plan. We have had absolutely no direction or contact from the federal government, as they have blocked me on both Twitter and Facebook. Federal government, if you are listening to this, we need more funding. The vaccine will go out to New Yorkers as follows. First, we will sort all New Yorkers by height. Then we will divide them into cohorts by last name alphabetically. The groups will be placed in a very large auditorium. Finally, I will wear a blindfold and throw darts containing the vaccine into the crowd. Remember, as the holidays are approaching us, we have to not approach our families. Don't be a gingerbread man this Christmas. If you must meet with family, please apply the following precautions from the New York State Health Department. Number one, fasten a hoop with a diameter of at least six feet around your waist firmly and wear it at all times. Number two, go in separate rooms and use Zoom when possible. Yes, even when you are in the same house. And number three, 
wear an astronaut suit. You can find them new at the NASA website or refurbished at your local city hall. Lastly, I want to say thank you everybody for staying and abiding by the rules during this very trying time. I hope you have a very safe and happy holidays. And again, if the federal government is listening, please unblock me.